Hello everyone and welcome finally to a new video. I'm so happy to be uploading again. I've missed it literally so much. I'm going to make a separate video on why I've been absent, but in short, I've been traveling and my bad, I didn't take my laptop in order to edit my content. I also graduated from high school finally after which I decided to just relax and finally take my own time because going through all the studying and the exams was quite stressful honestly. But before going into that, I just wanted to do something familiar and relaxing, so I'm taking you to Stone Balance with me today. Thanks for all the people who are still sticking by my side on YouTube after all this long time. I have small news for you as well. So I finally managed to make an Instagram account where following what I'm up to will be much easier. I'm also excited to share my photography, thoughts, and other daily things there. So go ahead and follow miss.northern on Instagram and I'll see you there. I think it will be a great tool for me to connect better with you guys and all the like-minded people really. So I'm super excited about that. After having spent a couple of days just at home healing from my flu, it's the most liberating thing just to get playful outdoors. I obviously start by finding the individual stones that on this particular day are somehow calling my intuition and after that I find a nice spot where I haven't balanced before. Balancing, you're somehow getting very intimate with this particular piece of nature you've chosen to balance. This stone is giving you a feeling of something ancient and ever being. It will continue existing long after you're gone and you're investing your lifetime into it. Then again, the stone, it might have existed for eternity and this is the first time someone is giving it a role in the chain of life. I still had a willing to do some more, so I went and looked for stones and found this beautiful plate-shaped stone under the roots of a tree. It <laughs> proved itself to be quite challenging in balancing, but doesn't its surface look like a masterpiece? Thank you. 
bring things such as stones, trees, and other things, so-called things not capable of feeling, alive. We could have literally been born to be anything. I guess I'm fond of believing that anything that is part of the same universe somehow connects to the other form of existing. I guess the feeling comes from the fact that after all we're all just existing in the same time and space. In that, there is something we share.